Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain very quickly uh, what is NAT's messaging system and how to use it and how it compares with uh, other messaging systems. So NAT's essentially is an open source messaging system and it is written using Go programming language and the core design principles of NAT's are performance, scalability and ease of use. So imagine you have lots of microservices at your backend architecture and you need to do some message passing across those microservices very quickly. Uh, so in those scenarios, NATS is one of the options. And in which cases this can be useful, uh, I will get back to that later. So for now, you can see there are like two uh, components of NATS. So one is called a core NATS, another is called Jetstream. Before I go into more details, I will show you an example, uh, example Go program about how to use NATS. So before you execute the program there are like a couple of things so first you need to like install NAT server that you can do by using brew install NAT server if you are on Mac and then the next step is to actually run that server so what that server does is that it coordinates the message passing so you can once you are running the server using this command then a program can actually connect to the server then subscribe to one of the topics and then publish to the topics so what do I mean by that? Uh, I'll show you in this example. So here, uh, I'm already running the NAT server. I've already installed and I'm running currently. So what this program, this main function does is that initially it just con connects to the NAT server and then it subscribes to this topic called foo, okay? So it is subscribing. And then what it does is that it publishes something to this uh, foo topic. So it just publishes hello world to it okay so these two are written in this same example code but these two can be part of different services so one service can subscribe to something and another service can publish to that thing and that's how they can pass messages okay so if i run this program you can see this initially um, published this and it received this so this is one example of how to use NATS server to communicate across different microservices uh, by using NATS messaging system. So the underlying mechanism for the core NAT server is called fire and forget, which essentially means that it will publish something and then essentially like forget about it in the sense that it is stored in memory and not in a disk. So there is no 100% guarantee that uh, the subscriber will actually receive what is published. So one example where it can, where this can be useful is uh, imagine traffic system. So where imagine, let's say Google maps, where you are trying to get routes and imagine Google maps needs to have information about traffic in real time. So this information can be relayed using an ad server and if let's say this relaying is doesn't happen correctly for let's say like a couple of minutes, then it doesn't matter because that old data is lost and it's not important anymore. What we are interested in is in the latest traffic data. Okay, so in this case, uh, if you are losing some data while publishing it, then it's fine because you are only interested in the real time data. So this is one example where NAT server can be used. Then NATS has another component called Jetstream where essentially it is the opposite of fire and forget. So it has this built-in persistent layer that uh, adds streaming queues and at least once or exactly once delivery guarantees. So this is a very quick example to show you how you can use NATS and what uh, your code, your Golang code may look like if you are using NATS. Another competitor or another similar program is called RabbitMQ, but uh, there are a few differences. So NATS is supposed to be like very simple, lightweight, and it does this pub sub model, which is publish subscribe. Um, RabbitMQ is more like a message broker and it works in terms of queues. So you submit certain things in a queue and another program can get things out of that queue. So that is more important where you don't want to afford things like fire and forget so you if you want 
to attend to every single item in that queue then you will use rabbitmq generally the throughput throughput wise nats is better or slightly faster than rabbitmq and the scalability aspect of nats is pretty high compared to rabbitmq uh, rabbitmq is still quite scalable but nats is i would say based on my experience it's a bit faster okay so this is a very brief uh, example of what nats is and how it may work if you have any questions feel free to write in the comments